Hi, I'm Sergey, and in this Nexperia video series, we will explain everything about ESC protection. The complexity of the modern ESC protection circuitries used in mobile computing or automotive applications does not allow to conclude on the overall system ESC robustness level. Just by consideration of ESC robustness characteristics of a system standalone transceiver or IC as well as of used passive components including the external ESC protection devices and common mode chokes. To derive the overall system ESC robustness level, the interaction between all of them should be considered carefully during a system transient analysis. The system efficient ESC design seed methodology allows to simulate the transient behavior of the whole system at once by modeling its individual parts using behavioral and equivalent circuit models. Finally, the system seed model represents the nonlinear behavior of the external ESC protection and common mode choke within the ESC protection circuitry of the transceiver or IC, including also the parasitics from connector and PCB traces in one equivalent circuit model. The simulation is extended by the model of ESD pulse or TLP generator, which are typically used for system-level ESD tests. This systematic approach allows to predict the currents flowing through different system parts and voltages dropping at different system nodes during an ESD event. Especially, the representation of dynamic effects of snapback ESD protection components with dynamic seed models allows precise transient analysis and thus prediction of the system-level ESC robustness for both HBM and CDM IC limits. Moreover, it gives opportunity to perform virtual prototyping for ESC protection solutions and save by that engineering time and cost. A detailed information regarding model implementation as well as examples of seed system-level simulation for automotive Ethernet can be found in the Automotive ESD Handbook and in the white paper, both published on Xperia website. Thank you for watching.